So after you put your plumb bob down and you got your lane width guide down and you found out the center of your court, now what you do is you take A1, which is the left side of the lane. What we want to do then is put the notch of the lane width guide right there. And to make sure you have it right, you want to make sure that this is where your blocks go. So you want to make sure that these are cut out of there, going to the outside of your court. Then you continue to fold this back. And then when you look down it, it should look straight. And if not, just shimmy it a little bit. Now what we have on here is what holds the stencil together. But in order to make a continuous line, when you spray paint, you spray paint here, flip this over and complete the spray paint process. Now this whole process is a patented process and it will work out fine. So we keep spray painting, flip this over and keep painting and we'll get perfect, smooth, professional lines. Now repeat the process with A2. This is the right side of the key. Now the right side is if you're at the hoop and you're looking out towards the top of the key. So once you have that in, then continue folding this out. Once again, making sure that notches for your blocks are on the outside of your key line. Step three is your free throw line. You have this little piece that looks kind of like an F. We'll lay it down on the right side of the lane and then we'll simply fold this out again. Fold it out, line it up with the other side. Now if it doesn't match up, it's because your lines aren't quite straight. And what we'll do is we'll just shimmy those lines a little bit, put them on straight. When everything's straight, just put a little piece of masking tape on here to hold everything in place. Okay, if everything is in the proper location, right now from the plumb bob to the top of the free throw line should be 15 feet exactly. And then you know you're precisely in the right. Now that you have your left side of your key in place, your right side of your key in place, and your free throw line, all measurements should be good because you're locked in at the top and the bottom. This would be a good time to spray everything in and paint it in because when you put the circle of the key on there, it overlaps. But we're going to show you how it all lays out. So, next thing we do is we take the bottom of the key. We're going to line that up to the free throw line. And then we're simply going to fold it up. And line it up to the free throw line on the other side. And you're done. Okay, let's do the top of the circle of the key. So we lay it down, line it up. Then we fold this back. We just keep going around until we line up to the other side. And then we can tape that in place. And then you're all... Now we're going to put down the three-point locator. There's another notch on the key. We put it right inside that notch and then we tape it in there. And then we would just fold this out. And this will now fit into a notch on the three-point line. So fold out a little bit of your three-point line. There's a notch in the three-point line that will fit into your three-point line locator, which is also attached to your key. So and then when you have a little bit of it out, then we'll continue folding it out. Now what your goal is, is to hit the top of the circle of the key. Now if it doesn't line up perfect, we will just shimmy it a little bit later. So we'll continue to fold it all the way around, but we did end up pretty close, right to the top. So we'll just scoot this over a little bit so everything lines up Here's your blocks that you're going to put in. You're going to put them in these little notches right here. But this is not where you're going to spray them in. You're going to put them right here for now. And what we're going to do 
is we're just gonna make a little pencil mark of where these things are. And after we paint it in, then we move this to the paint. And then that's where we paint it in at. So what you do then is you put this directly over your stencil, and then you just spray your lines inside your stencil. And that's what it would look like the first time. So when we go to the bridge, we flip this back now, and we put the box on again, we spray inside the box. Now, it's not breezy here today, so I'm going to put the box away, and we're going to show you spraying it with no goof proof spray box. So we continue spraying it. You get to the bridge, flip it backwards, and keep on spraying. And that's how we get our smooth, continuous lines. After we have sprayed in the line and the free throw line, then we have to remove the free throw line because now we have to spray in the circle, bottom half of the circle and top half of the circle for the key. measure this from the top of the free throw line to the top of the circle should be six foot exactly and it is so we're ready to start painting it in sprayed in the key circle, now we're ready to fold it back up and put it back in the box. Now that your three-point line is locked into place, you want to put the three-point line, we're going to continue running it and we want it to intersect the top of the key. So put this out lift it up and just bring it out nice and gently here until we hit the top of the key and continue rolling down the other side. We are a little off, but we'll just shimmy it in in a little bit. We'll just fold it in. So just get it all unfolded first. So hopefully you put your marks there to where these go. So we'll line it up and so it just covers over and that's where you'll spray in your block, right there. Get the 